Well, I'm just looking at this. Look at this, eh? Morris Mini Motors dot com, eh? Yes, from United Kingdom. And this will be interesting, eh? <laughs> I salute, I salute all viewers and subscribers. Today is very special for me because I will show you how to convert this sexy or any you can convert with this any engine you want but in this case I'm converting an OS FT160 Gemini that we have for a good friend from New Holland salute Stuart him Warren quick from Ocean RC I salute you thank you for this opportunity uh, at the beginning uh, he has sent me this engine I to tune this say he sent this engine to tune and afterwards he has the FT Yes, 160. 160. He has decided to convert this uh, to, to gas because he's going to put this on a, what is he saying, Tiger Moth, I think? Well, something like that, eh? I focus the air. I think uh, so, it, some, it's some plane. bisexual plane. I can't remember, it's a biplane. But then he has decided that he will convert it to gas and he asked me if I can do it. Eh? I was honored. Well, this. this is a great opportunity for you, yes. Captain Blush. Eh? It was a learning uh, for me, but I have to say, I was doing this for the first time. I have never converted any engine to gas, and it, ha it, it has took me less than 30 minutes. Well, it is this, very easy to say. do this. Now, you will explain. Yes. Because viewers can check the video in the back of this engine when you were running it. It was tuned, and you run it still on glow. Yes, Fuel. and today we will run on gas, but the settings are still a bit rich, so I will not get very low idle, because uh, Stuart will, 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 will have to run this engine a couple of tanks, and then he will set, this is very easy setting, just on the weed whacker, the, the, the carp is the same as on the weed whacker. I will tune it, well, but I will not, show this. I will, the final tunes he will have to do. It will just... Just the, the high and low speed needle, but if you would leave it like this, it will be okay. Oh, now, no, you have to explain this. What you will need to uh, convert this engine, you will need a piston stopper, so, so you can... Uh, now this is, you must explain, this is what you get in the conversion kit. No, in the conversion kit you get... What do you get? Uh, the magnet, the hole sensor and the CDI unit. And uh, for, I don't know, for some 10 dollars or 10 pounds, you get the angle reader, the piston stopper, and the, the, the timing checker. That uh, checks, that beeps when you're on the right timing. So it, you don't have to put in the, the spark plugs, you don't know this is, this is for this. And you will need also the hex key, which is uh, size 2. Because you need to unscrew this valve cover so you can determine when the engine is at the top dead center. I will show you that later. And you will need 14 size wrench, 17 size wrench, which is for this, for, for the prop. You will need 8 millimeter socket to change. You see this, these are the glow oh, this plugs. This is the difference. These are glow plugs and these are spark plugs. Yes, and they are quoted to 32 uh, threads. Which they fit perfect. Mm. And uh, I will just show you. It's the best. And you will need this wire. This is a copper wire from an electric motor from the inside. So I can. The, the, this will point my. Uh, I will show you the angle. Well, hey. We'll show you as we go. And the first thing that you need to do is if you have. But aha, uh -huh, one more thing. You can also run this engine on glow ignition, which means that you can run a glow fuel using the ignition set. You don't, in, in that case, you don't need to have to change the carp. You leave the no, original... this is the original carp. This is the original carp. You can leave it on and you can run on glow fuel and ignition, which, is, which means glow ignition. But in this case, we will change it. Now, the first thing I did was I have changed the carp and I will show you. I will use this as a pointer. This screw here underneath, you see, this is 40 millimeter, and this one on this side. You unscrew this uh, 
uh, these screws on, off, and there are two screws here, which hold the carp, you see, here. You unscrew yeah. this and this, and you pull this out, and then you put these uh, intake lines inside, into the new carp, you just slide it back in, slightly uh, screw them in, and then... You must screw the nuts, I think. The nuts, the, yes. The, the and nuts, the first yeah. thing you need to do is screw this hex bolts inside and screw this and that is it the carp is changed it is very very simple thing this to do. is simple eh? yes it is very simple as i said i was doing this the first time and, and, and it took me less than 30 minutes from the beginning to start the engine and the engine started i think that on the third flick it's very easy so this is the car the next thing is i will take this off this is, I will say this, a probe drive. I don't know the expression, but you know what I mean. You put the, the sensor on, and the sensor is uh, facing backwards. This is the, actually the magnet, you see? Wait. Ah, this. This is the magnet. Yeah. And you put on the sensor, and you don't screw on anything yet at this time. You put on the sensor, and the sensor, this color, this aluminum has got cut off, cut out, so you see. So it fits on because the engine is put on together uh, with, with, with the seam like this, so that the sensor fits on perfectly. You put this on and you put the magnet on. And as I said, at this point, you don't. And there is a. Like this, you don't screw anything on yet. All all this thing is loose. Then you must determine the top dead center, and for that I'll be using. Where is it? Aha! Uh -huh. I can use this. Yeah. I can use the hex key, or you, or you can use the toothpick, but I won't damage the piston. So then you look for the stroke. Do see? This is the. This is the where it goes the exhaust, the intake, and there, then the piston comes up, and this is the stroke. You see, the, this is where the the usually the the combustion is. How do you say the combustion stroke or what? The stroke. You know what I mean. This is where the the, the piston fires and it goes down. Now. When you have the piston in the top dead center, you screw piston stopper inside. Yeah, pretty interesting. Eh? You screw this inside. Well, I won't talk too much today because this must you be... You screw this inside and then you start to screw this in. And when this starts to move, show this here. Yeah, this wait, wait, like this. When this starts to move, right, like this. Where is that? Is that? Check, let me let me just quickly recheck this. It needs to be in the yeah like this. Now screw this in, and now the piston will start to move. You see? Yeah. It, yeah. it has moved like this. Yes. And now you will need this. You put this angle meter on. And you just screw this in. And then you determine approximately. This doesn't matter uh, if it is right on or not. You just. Okay, like this. And then. This wire comes handy. You will see why. You you will have to play with this. This has taken me the, the most time in this whole conversion. You'll see. No, I will. Just check it. Yes. Now this wire is pointing at zero degrees. Oh. Then <laughs> pretty interesting. You eh? move the engine clockwise to 30 degrees. 
you'll see yeah and then you move it back and you'll see that this is perfectly this goes perfectly to zero now we put it back to 30 degrees like this then you will plug this checker and when you put this checker in now this is interesting yes you put it here this is for single cylinder missing for multi cylinder for one or two and this is for more than three cylinders which this is different then you just want to do minus it's here like this you plug in the battery it's all labeled so we don't mess anything up like this and then you you move this yeah see now when it starts to beat it is set at 30 degrees you see yeah now when this is when this is set up you screw the whole sensor and the magnet like this and the engine is primed you but check it again it. you put it back you see uh -huh. at the zero degrees and when the sensor is start to touching yeah see like this and when you read the description you'll see bring engine to 30 degree before top dead center spark or buzzer green light should be coming on when trailing edge so when it starts to uh, come to the magnet it, it will start to beep and it will beep all all the way the, the whole ignition magnet. module should spark on if you're using timing device then correct set is use buzzer and green light comes on the first time so, so this is what you get you will get this instruction or what hmm? yes this is what you get inside so we have timed the engine it was, it was pretty simple now you remove this you don't need this you remove this as I said interesting uh, but when you are satisfied with this and the engine is running okay then you can put some uh, how do you say that that glue uh, the the lock lock tight uh, lock tight yes <laughs> lock tight but just when you are completely uh, okay with this now I just throw this off hey pretty interesting eh? you will now screw in I the, can't imagine that you will screw now in the glow plug the spark plugs just make sure you don't ruin the threads it's not the second one is inside now we put it back on yeah cover the the valve cover like this and this will be as I said the cold start hey I can't wait to see a video of this eh? of Stuart mount this on a plane and do the maiden flight yes of course but this uh, will be will total success eh? we will try this today and I will send him the engine back this week so he can mount it on the plane and he will go on a meeting now uh, this is this now the next thing is just plug this in the sensor you plug this in the CDI unit like this I will not uh, mount this I'll just now push the covers on like this well, hey. The, if I, you know how to do it, it's not hard. Eh? I, I, I could use the, the, the RPM sensor, but I'm not sure if this sensor will work with the RXL. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't want to burn anything. So. No, just leave it like it is. Eh? Yes. Who cares about that? Eh? Now this is this. Now we will just... I'm using my trusty <laughs> park <Parkside>. side <laughs> from Lidl, yes. I have a lot of tools in here, so <coughs> it's very good for the for the price. Like this, like this. The next thing I will do, I will open the doors. Well, open something, eh? Yes. No, that one not. Yeah, the side. You can open the side doors. Unlock it first. 
this. Now the next thing is to do is to put on the prop. Hey, I can't wait to hear this. Eh? This on. Uh -huh. I wish you good luck. Eh? Thank you very much. wrench protection nut like this the next thing is to prime the engine this is just this is an ordinary four stroke engine so it needs to be primed really good This. The next thing is to do is to ignite the ignition. Uh, first, I will choke it. You put on the choke like this. Plus minus like this. And that's it. <coughs> that's it. That's it. It's on. Battery on. The choke. I was tilting the engine, so the engine, the fuel has run out. Uh huh. <laughs> I can't believe this sound, eh? Hey. And? 
But this sounds better than on the glow. Hey, of course it sounds. And I'm using 20 to 1 mix, which is in our language here in Europe 5% mix. What you will do? We will read the RPMs. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's working. Okay. Is it now, working? Uh, as I said, it would start better if I wasn't tilting the engine. It, it has flooded the car. But, hey, but look now. Screw that. Hey. Look now. Yes, it's okay. Like this, yes. Fifteen hundred RPM. It sounds so great. Eh? You can go even lower, but you must feel with the car a bit more. Engine, eh, the sound. Hold it like this, and I will be at the top here. This knob here. I must hold it. Yeah, hold the knob. Wait. I will Without the words here, you have to blush, hey, but hey, but this is sick, hey. Oh, wait. I'll try it again. You feel me? That's it, Captain Blasher. <laughs> hey, I'm without the words here, eh? As you can see, it's very easy to do. You just remember when you're putting this on, uh, don't screw anything on yet. Before you do the, the timing, when you do the timing, screw this on. And when you're completely okay with everything, then put the Loctite inside, not before. And before I'll send this to him, I will put on the Loctite, and this is the good thing, look, look at this. You, you can also fiddle with the timing here, for some fine tuning. You oh, can yeah, move you this, can see this. Yeah, yeah. back or forward, but like this. Even the cart now is almost okay, it's just with these two screws mm -hmm. here, this, these two screws. This is the idle screw, this is idle screw, and these two at the back are high and low speed. And that's it. <sighs> Captain but Blush. Even now, I must try it again. Eh? Hey, you did it, eh? Oops, I did it again. <laughs> If you want to sound like this, look at this one. Hey. <laughs> it's worth the effort. I what think can that, I say? Hey, I think the steward will, will, will be one happy man all yes. over again. Eh? I'm so jealous of him that he has got some, such a beautiful, sexy engine with, with this conversion. And I, as I said, I'm honored that he has chosen me to do this. Hey, to tell you the truth, hey, I would love to have a plane with the engine like this. 
Because hey, this. I do have a plane. Well, but the, this sounds better than the fourth stroke. Hey, this is fourth the stroke. glow. Yeah, I mean, but with the glow fuel. I have an engine like this, but it is ASP and it is still on glow. And I wouldn't mind to have this conversion on a. Well, that would be something. Hey. Can you imagine the decathlon with that? Hey? Yes. Hey, this is. This is. I don't know what, what to say. say. I will say nothing anymore. Eh? What can I say? Check I will just listen to this video over and over again. Eh? Check the uh, Morris Mini Motors on, on, on the internet. Oh, did you film it? Yeah, yeah, I have filmed it. They can pause it and they can uh, search here. He has got uh, conversion kits for all, even for the RCV engine. But can you imagine that because... ASP, Magnum, uh, OS, he has got for RCV, for SATOs, for RCGF's uh, kits, uh, and, and his kits fit on with a, such a pr 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 precision. precision. Yeah, there yeah. is no wobbling, uh, nothing. The kit is perfect. And this is the piece of art kit and if you want to convert your glow engine to gas and that C tape. Anyone can do it, you just need to... And then you can get the fuel on any gas station. And that's the most the beautiful thing here. You, you, you just need these three things to set the timing and that's it. Well, Captain it Blush, works perfectly. good enough, eh? Yes. And now I'll just cut because <laughs> I'll have to run this engine again before I send this back to him. Well, I think that you will run it more than just once, eh? Before you will send it back. <laughs> because you can't hear a sound like this every day, eh? Just one more quick for the salute. But, but the sound is really... I will, I will salute and you will cut the camera off. Well, of course, of course. Yes. And then I will just cut, go behind. A little throttle. So this is it. Okay. Viewers below your way.